Greetings to you folks out there in YouTube land. I am Rock Reynolds here with Fiddle Lesson 2012 number one on the bow. I'm using a new grip I call the claw. I'm grabbing the bow with my ring finger and my pinky. I'm squeezing down there. I also hold firmly with the thumb and have a pretty good contact point there on the index finger. I keep these fingertips away from the bow because I don't want them to be confused with this. This ring finger is going to control the music. I'm going to feel the music through that finger there. The, I get the most effective grip the more I extend the middle finger which leads to kind of an ironic looking grip. But I won't go any further into that. On the bowing, I'm going to cover long bowing. On the bowing, the hand has to twist. On a down bow, the wrist twists out. On the up bow, the wrist twists in. On the long bowing, the energy for the long bow is supplied by pumping of the arm. The arm has to pump, for me, it has to pump along a certain plane. The plane is defined by the upper wrist and the shoulder. The rule is, on the on initial movement of the up bow, always wrist towards, upper wrist towards the shoulder. Regardless of where my hand is and regardless of which direction the bow is going to be, going, to be going. This towards the shoulder at first. This towards the shoulder. Now after it starts out towards the shoulder, to maintain the note, just keep contracting, contracting the elbow, and it just naturally moves in towards the fiddle finally. A couple tricky things about this, about the transition between down bow and up bow. Number one is my hand, one would think that to start an up bow, the hand has to move in that direction. Well the, well, the hand is moving in that direction, but not the arm that's supplying the energy. The arm that's supplying the energy is coming back this way, and the, the bow movement towards the fiddle then is supplied by the twist of the wrist. But you can see, when, I'm, when I first change directions, my, hand, my arm is heading back this way, not towards the fiddle. The, uh, the, this upper arm actually moves in kind of an arc. It goes up a little bit and then comes back this way towards the fiddle. Up and then back. Up and then back. On the down bow, on the down bow, just release, just release your arm, twist the hand out, and your hand may have to twist a little more. And when it gets to a certain position, you can probably maintain just that amount of twist. And then, then, then the up bow the other way. A couple of other things that happen. That when, when I start the up bow, in order to accommodate the height on that wrist, the upper arm raises a little bit. I don't have to think about that. That just happens naturally. When I twist in, this part of the arm raises a little bit. On the down bow, it just naturally drops. Same strings. Something else that's tricky about this bowing is ideally what you want is you want the bow to be perpendicular to the to the to the strings and you want the the bow contact to be between halfway between the end of the neck and the bridge. I will try to maintain that contact, the contact point, but the actual direction of the bow is is a little bit different for me. When I do the down bow, my bow is probably more at a position just about like that, just a little bit off of, of center, and for the up bow, it's back the other way. So what I'm saying is, using the claw, my bow direction coming in to the fiddle is a little bit different than the bow direction headed out. I'll do it sideways and see, see if that shows up. Up bow, up bow, down bow, up bow, down bow. And like I said, the key to the music is I maintain uh, this ring finger flush to the frog at all time. That's how I monitor the music. If I, if I stop feeling that, then my hand position's wrong and I have to make an adjustment. 
you find out where these hand positions are by doing by doing lots of practice. But there's the basic mechanics for the long bow. Just just squeeze in the squeeze in the elbow. Here's the two things I monitor. I monitor my 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 wrist to to shoulder movement, and I monitor the flushness of the of the ring finger. I'm Rock Reynolds. It's been a pleasure serving your fiddle instructional needs. Wrap with you later.